In the hushed corridors of cinematic history, where time's embrace preserves the magic of the silver screen, there exists a gem that first flickered to life in the kaleidoscopic year of 1966. Imagine a world of suave spies and daring escapades, where the air hums with intrigue and the tinkle of a cocktail glass resonates like a secret code. It was in this very world that the silencers burst forth, a symphony of action, wit, and unabashed coolness that etched its name into the annals of celluloid legend. Cast your thoughts back to that flickering screen in your first encounter with this cinematic marvel. Perhaps you were nestled in the cozy corner of a vintage theater, your senses alive with anticipation. Or maybe it was on a quiet evening at home, as technicolor beams danced across your television, whisking you away to a realm of espionage and charm. Do you recall the thrill of the opening scene? The suave charisma of the protagonist as he navigated a labyrinth of danger. The pulse-pounding moments that left your heart racing and your breath hanging in suspense. As time flows ever onward, our memories crystallize around those unforgettable cinematic imprints. Moments become memories, and memories become treasures that we carry with us through the years. And now, as we stand on the precipice of unraveling some hidden truths about this iconic movie, let us journey back to that era, to a world where the silver screen reigned supreme and where the silencers carved its indelible mark. Beneath the surface of this film lies a tapestry of fascinating facts that unveil the magic behind the scenes. From the casting choices that shaped the characters' allure to the ingenious set designs that transported us to a bygone era, each detail weaves a narrative that speaks to the dedication and creativity of all those who breathed life into this masterpiece. So, let us embark on this exploration, delving into the enigma of the silencers and unearthing the gems that illuminate its story. And now, without further ado, let us journey into the heart of the silencers and uncover the intriguing tales that have remained hidden for so long. A world of secrets, style, and sophistication awaits, inviting us to relive those cherished moments anew. So, dear reader, take a sip from the chalice of nostalgia and allow yourself to be swept away once more into the embrace of this cinematic marvel, where every frame pulses with the heartbeat of a bygone era. The 1966 movie The Silencers emerged as a captivating spy flick amidst the backdrop of the Cold War era. Serving as the debut installment in the popular Matt Helm film series, it introduced audiences to the suave and charismatic secret agent, Matt Helm, portrayed by Dean Martin. The film's narrative unfolded with Helm being pulled out of retirement to thwart a nefarious plot involving a powerful new weapon. Boasting a balance of action, humor, and intrigue, The Silencers stood out with its unique blend of campy espionage and Martin's effortless charm. The movie's success led to a series of sequels, further solidifying its impact on the spy genre. The film's iconic characters, including Helm's love interest Tina, played by Stella Stevens, added depth to the narrative, enhancing its appeal. Through its stylized visuals and Martin's portrayal, the film established its distinct style, leaving an indelible mark on popular culture. Its influence resonated through subsequent spy films and TV shows, shaping the perception of spy archetypes. In essence, The Silencers remains a pivotal work that encapsulates the essence of 1960s spy entertainment, sparking a legacy that endures in the annals of cinematic history. The Silencers, a suave espionage film starring Dean Martin as secret agent Matt Helm, harbors an intriguing connection to the world of music. A subtle thread of musical jests and charm runs through the movie, courtesy of Frank Sinatra. The film introduces Sinatra's hit Come Fly With Me, setting a romantic mood for Helm's encounters with women. This tuneful motif continued in the subsequent installment, The Ambushers, featuring yet another Sinatra classic, Strangers in the Night. Amidst these musical interludes, Dean Martin's character playfully jabs at Sinatra's tunes, labeling them terrible in jest. In a curious twist, the film showcases Martin's signature song, Everybody Loves Somebody Sometime, cementing its own melodic legacy. The cinematic banter around these songs offers a light-hearted touch, underscoring the camaraderie of the era's entertainers. As if weaving a musical tapestry, The Silencers also aligns with Stella Stevens' trajectory. Three years prior, Stevens had co-starred alongside Dean Martin's former comedic partner, Jerry Lewis, in The Nutty Professor, another gem of the silver screen. This connection adds a layer of interwoven Hollywood history, bridging the gap between Dean Martin's affiliations and Stevens' own journey in the film industry. However, it's the post credit scene in The Silencers that truly breaks new ground. A pioneering move for its time, this film ignited the trend of post credit scenes, a narrative device that would eventually become commonplace in later decades, especially with the dawn of the 2000 seconds. This innovative touch cemented The Silencers as not only a stylish spy caper, but also a harbinger of storytelling techniques to come. In the enigmatic world of espionage, music, and cinematic innovation, The Silencers solidified its place in history by blending the charms of Dean Martin, the musical allure of Frank Sinatra, and the visionary trailblazing of the post credit scene, a testament to both the era's creative spirit and the enduring influence of its stars. 
Roger C. Carmel and Victor Buono, dual villainy extends from Gotham to Helm's world in the suave and action-packed world of the 1966 film The Silencers. A curious intersection with Gotham City's villains emerges. Notably, two actors from this cinematic espionage escapade would go on to don the capes of rogues in the iconic television series Batman. Roger C. Carmel, the embodiment of villainous charm in his portrayal of the ruthless Tung TZ, finds himself sharing the screen with Adam West's Cape Crusader. Carmel's knack for infusing cunning into his characters is evident, whether he's causing headaches for super spies or cape crime fighters. Simultaneously, Victor Buono, who lends his larger-than-life presence to the role of the sinister Big O, steps onto the hallowed grounds of Gotham's rogues gallery. Buono's transition from a world of espionage to a city of capes and cowls showcases his versatility as a performer, captivating audiences with his enigmatic charisma. This dynamic dual villainy, bridging the gap between secret agents and masked vigilantes, offers a tantalizing glimpse into the interconnectedness of Hollywood's creative circles during the era. It speaks to the allure of the espionage genre and the enduring popularity of larger-than-life antagonists. As we journey through the annals of cinema, we find that the line between heroes and villains is often more porous than it seems. From the silver screen to the small screen, Carmel and Buono's talents shine through, reminding us that captivating performances have the power to transcend genres and leave an indelible mark on the tapestry of entertainment. In the 1966 film The Silencers, Dean Martin, aged 48, shared the screen with Stella Stevens, a 27-year-old actress, adding a notable age dynamic to the movie's cast. This spy comedy, part of the Matt Helm series, explored a mix of action and humor against the backdrop of the swinging 60s. Interestingly, the name Tung Tzu, a character in the film, holds a significant meaning in Chinese. Translating to to rule, the name adds a layer of symbolism to the character's role within the storyline, reflecting themes of power and control. One of the captivating elements of the movie's opening title sequence was the presence of a statuesque blonde stripper. This dancer was none other than Larry Thomas, who later took on the role of Henrietta Hippo in the popular TV show New Zoo Review during the early 1970s. The transition from seductive performance to a children's television series showcases Thomas' versatility as an entertainer. The Silencers not only entertained audiences with its espionage-themed narrative but also left an intriguing trail of connection and stories that extended beyond the screen. These aspects, from the age contrast between the lead actors to the hidden meanings in character names and the unexpected career trajectory of Larry Thomas, contribute to the film's lasting impact. The Silencers, a cinematic gem from the swinging 60 seconds, brings together espionage, intrigue, and a touch of Hollywood magic. Amidst the glitz and glamour, one lesser-known fact adds a layer of mystery to the film's criminal syndicate, the Big O the acronym, which stands for the Bureau for International Government and Order, cleverly conceals the organization's true intentions. Crafted with subtlety, this tidbit underscores the film's knack for the unexpected. Renowned for her mesmerizing dance moves, Sid Caris dazzled audiences, but her singing often took a back seat. Notably, in The Silencers, a departure from tradition occurred as a young Vicky Carr lent her voice to Carissa's character. Carr's vocals breathed life into the film's musical moments, offering viewers an unexpected auditory delight from the accomplished dancer. Beyond the screen's surface, a moment of cinematic symmetry emerges in the lobby of the Phoenix Hotel. As Matt Helm, portrayed by Dean Martin, navigates this world of espionage, sharp-eyed viewers might spot a subtle nod to the source material. The hotel's newsstand boasts books from Donald Hamilton's Matt Helm series, the very foundation upon which the movie rests. This artful touch weaves the fictional world and its origins into a seamless tapestry. In The Silencers, the devil is in the details. From an enigmatic criminal acronym to the harmonious convergence of talent and homage, the film paints a vivid picture of 1960s intrigue. As Dean Martin's Matt Helm struts through a world of danger and allure, these understated elements enrich the viewing experience, reminding us that every frame holds a secret waiting to be discovered. So, take a step back in time and immerse yourself in the suave universe of the silencers. With its layers of meaning and cinematic finesse, the movie continues to whisper its secrets to those willing to listen. As we reach the end of this cinematic journey through the realms of espionage and intrigue, I invite you to pause and reflect on the echoes of the past that reverberate through the corridors of your own memories. The year 1966 saw the birth of The Silencers, a film that encapsulated an era of suave sophistication and covert escapades. Perhaps it stirred within you a fascination for the enigmatic, a desire for adventure hidden just beneath the surface of everyday life. As the credits roll, take a moment to ponder what scenes unfurled before your mind's eye as you delved into Matt Helm's world. Was it the sleek charm of the leading man, the pulse-pounding chase sequences, or the glamorous mystique of a bygone era? Did this movie become a part of your personal narrative, weaving its essence into your own tapestry of experiences? I encourage you to share your cherished recollections and thoughts to paint a vivid picture of how the silencers wove its spell into your life.
Whether it's a fleeting memory of watching the film on a rainy afternoon or a profound connection that touched your soul, your story enriches the collective mosaic of human connection to this cinematic masterpiece. Thank you for sharing this moment in time and for allowing the silencers to be more than just a movie, a shared journey through time and imagination. Until our paths cross again in the realm of stories and dreams, keep the spirit of intrigue alive, stay captivated, stay curious.